part eight, we're on performance awards now, and we're starting off with the best and worst ancillary character. This always confuses a lot of people, so I explain it right now. Ancillary characters are supporting characters, not the wrestlers themselves. Just the people that are the general managers, the valets. Well, they don't really have valets anymore for the most part, except for Rosa Mendes. Um, you know, even when they brought back uh, the Miz girl last year, she became an ancillary character. It's the little people like that, so. Literally little. Yeah. That's where Horns Wild comes into play. <laughs> the worst. What do you think? That fisherman guy uh, from the at least catch. He did a WrestleMania segment with Foley and Santino. Ron Simmons saved it, but he was he I didn't like him. He wasted my WrestleMania ticket. I am very bitter here. I'm going with the Funketeer kids. <laughs> Little shits. Uh, I hate everything when it comes to a force-fed little kid. I'm supposed to think that they're cute kind of a thing. And I understand that. If I was a kid, I would probably fucking love that. And I would want to come up and go into the ring. Hell, I would want to go in the ring and dance with Brothers Clay right now. I'm, you know, I would dance with the kid. dancers. <laughs> I'm not going to dance with the little kids. Uh... But I just, I think that's so stupid. I hate this PG kind of stuff when they do that. I don't like it at all. Uh, I don't even like the name Funketeers. It sounds stupid. It sounds like it should be from Captain Planet or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm bitter. So what? You should know that by now after 60 episodes. What do you think's the best? Best? And he rubs his chin. Hoping that he has a beard like Damien Sandow. Yes. Excellent. Uh, I like the hand. The hand was a good throwback. That was funny. Um, uh, <laughs> Abraham Washington. That was great. I miss him. I miss him too. He was funny. Uh, hey, W, you were dumb enough to put a live mic on a guy 24-7 when he's on the ring, so uh, <laughs> shame on you. Paul Heyman. Brock. The man. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. I had that shirt on earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just uh, awesome. They need to keep him on constantly. Even if he doesn't do his a walk. Whole lot, just have him fucking on. His bob and weave walk, it's just awesome. It's just. <laughs> 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 The best and the worst commentators. Uh, limited amount of selection here, but uh, everybody from NXT, SmackDown, Main Event, Superstars, you know, so on and so forth. He thinks the worst. Uh, that bitch from Sky Network, who uh, is now accompanying Scott Stanford on the free for all and for those like. Uh, Wouldn't vignettes. classify her as a commentator. Damn it! She still sucks. Um, Ancillary character, maybe. Okay, well, now she's now my worst. Um, she's a bitch. <laughs> uh, and Canadian. But anyway, I think the worst commentator would have to be Booker T. I didn't, I didn't like him as a commentator at all. Um, he had a few good moments, but for the most part, it just, he was silent. And then when he wasn't silent, he made no damn sense. So, he, he's pretty bad. Or with Byron Saxton from NXT. He's not the worst they've ever had. Certainly far from the best. That's about all I could say about that. Basically, Todd Grisham wasn't around this year for us to bash. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Todd Grisham sucks. Oh, uh, bitch. Best. Ah, oh, JBL. Come on. JBL. JBL. <laughs> Wrestling god, commentating god. He's the best. I mean, you made fun of uh, Lawler's heart attack. Yeah, what are you going to do, you do next year to top this? And all that? Yeah. Oh, man. And then he, he made fun of Mexico the one time when uh, he was telling the story about how Alberto Del Rio couldn't get sent to the Olympics. He's like, it's because Mexico ran out of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta go with JBL. So damn funny. Uh, Took him maybe one week to get back into the flow of things, and then he was just on fire. He's screwing up the Divas' names. I beg you to tell me the difference between them. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by this athleticism and all. <laughs> so good. Ah, the best and the worst announcers. What do you think the worst is? I don't like William Garcia. She's a foot-faced, horse-looking bitch. 
Tell us how you're going to go. She's lovely. No, she is a bitch. I hate her. Who? Who? Mm. Leave and then you just take somebody's spot when you come back. You left. You go back to the bottom of the pile. You go. You go announce superstars and other shitty shows. Well, the way that my voice is cracking this whole episode, I should say Tony Schimmel uh, to reference him. But Kaylee Turner got fired for a reason. That's all I can say. Best. Tony Schimmel. <laughs> he carries this company. He is out there Super ushering star. people around and telling them what to do. But the rated R superstar. He is the man. God, he should be doing all the announcing. Except all for when it's Ricardo Rodriguez. Mm, I wish I could do it right now, but the Alberto for fucking an hour. You gotta love him. He's such a great character and everything. If you want to go for a real serious answer, like a Justin Roberts, but Ricardo, I mean, he still counts. He's awesome. You gotta love Ricardo. Yeah. Ricardo is the man. So, part nine coming up, we will have the... Rookies, the tag team stables, and the divas, and then we'll go on to part 10. Check out part 9 coming up.